Hi, my name is Dr. Eiko Holman, and today's topic is potter's wheel. The Bible talks many occasions in the Old Testament as well as in the New Testament about God being the potter and we are the clay and he will mold us and reshape us and make us to be the master's service and uh, the precious vessel for his use. And uh, Jeremiah 18, especially verses 1 through 8, is very good. And of course, book of Romans and Galatians and uh, Isaiah also talk about the God being the potter and so on. But the major thing that I want to impress upon you today is that once we allow the Lord to do the remaking or reshaping us, and the, the first thing he would do is to spin you on the potter's wheel, and then because of the centrifugal force of spinning, the, any debris or any impurities in the clay will come to the surface. And then the, uh, the potter will actually feel uh, like a hair pieces or gravels and you know, little impurities coming to the surface, and he would just ping, just flick away, flick away, one after another. And so this is the, uh, the tape I made, and uh, we produce really phenomenal transformation of many, many lives, especially some people who have gone through not just one time event, but series of many serious traumatic events. And uh, uh, well, let me give you just one example. One lady who was going through a divorce, and he, she was aimlessly driving, and uh, in, uh, saw a big sign, the healing uh, evangelist with my name on it, and this was in Florida, and she just uh, parked and came right in and uh, sat at the uh, back of the uh, audience. And uh, while I was speaking, at that time I wasn't uh, speaking about Paul's will at all, totally in different subject matter, but uh, uh, she started to spin, and uh, she became dizzy, so she closed her eyes, and in her closed eyes, I mean eyelids, the Lord started to give her, you know, like a ticket tape, like depression, flying off, spinning, 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 and then fly off, and then anger, and rejection, and uh, abuses, and uh, put-downs, and all these things, and started to fly off, and then so after many of the things that she experienced and that those trigger mechanisms and certain wars and uh, pictures of the bad events she experienced had been flew, flown off, spin, spun off, she felt so cleansed and then afterwards the Lord started to show her the tremendous love and future plans that he has for her. So when she came to the normal, you know, standing position, not spinning anymore, and she came to me and said, what, what is this all about? I have no idea, but I feel wonderful, I feel loved, and I feel, uh, I, I'm not suicidal anymore. She was actually thinking about, you know, going off the cliff and just end it all, kind of intention. But uh, she, she got new life for her. So this is one of the reasons that I believe that this particular CD, it's uh, two of them, the first one is teaching and the second one is actually doing the spinning and some of the deep-seated uh, subconscious, unconscious memories of trauma, some of them that you may not even remember consciously, will be all taken care of and then the Lord will show you his plan and his love and so he would actually reshape you and rewiring of the brain and uh, so many many life transforming uh, testimonies came because of this so this is called the potter's wheel it's two cds and i'm planning to make another cd related to this and actually uh, divine editing will be combined in such a way that the new belief system and new self-image will be uh, 
uh, installed into you based on the biblical principles who you are not just who you think you are or who somebody else said you are and uh, many derogatory experiences and you know expressions and put downs will be erased and so with the potter's wheel you can literally have the spirit soul and body in alignment and then the three brains that I already mentioned before the head brain, the heart brain and the gut brain will be in agreement so that you will be going full speed and the full power without putting brakes on. Uh, remember I mentioned uh, if, if uh, three brains are not in agreement it's like driving with brakes on but once you take your foot off the brakes and, uh, and have the steering wheel you know actually controlled by the Holy Spirit and your life will be totally transformed with victory and abundance and joy in the Holy Ghost.